Hi guys. I know some of you guys know this, but maybe not all of you do. This time last year I ended up getting my PhD in physics. And one of the things that actually happens when you get your PhD in physics is that they actually show you, after you get your degree, how to reverse the second law of thermodynamics. Now it's not something to be taken lightly, and it's definitely something that you really have to be very careful with. But considering you guys helped me get to 100,000 subscribers, I felt like I should return the favor and share this knowledge with you. So let's go ahead and jump backwards into this. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is unpour the soda water into our cola syrup. And then we're just going to also unpour the cola syrup from our glass. You're going to want to put this back into your pot and then put your pot back on the stove and unwhisk it if you have the ability to do that. So you're just going to go the opposite direction that you went to stir initially. And what you should see is that the food coloring that you put in will actually undiffuse from the rest of your cola syrup. Next, you're going to want to pull back out all of the 500 milliliters of lime juice that I added, as well as the citric acid. You're going to want to pour the flavoring back into your bowl and undo the sugar, which is actually how you cure diabetes. Wait for it to solidify and then the next step is we're going to unpour our water into our caramel syrup and really just unwhisking everything will kind of really make it fluid again. Eventually what you'll notice is that over time it will turn back into sugar, raw pure sugar. Yeah, it's actually kind of fun to play with when it's in this stage, but then you want to pour this back into the bowl that you initially got this from, making sure to get all of it. The next thing that we're going to do is just look pensively at this water. Um, you can also unjuice your lime. It's, um, it's a little bit tricky, but if you get the wrist motion down, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to do. You want to uncut your lime and unmeasure your ingredients, including our citric acid. Now onto the next step. The 600 grams of sugar, we really don't want that. It's not good for us, so let's just go ahead and pour that back into the bag. Um, just do it very slowly so this takes a long time. It's actually an old YouTube trick. The longer it takes to explain something or the slower that you do stuff, the more watch time you get and therefore the more that YouTube will recommend your content. The next thing you want to do is unwhisk your flavoring. This will cause it to unemulsify our alcohol and flavoring agent, um, which, which we have here essentially. This is the flavoring oil that we use that we're going to now spend the next few minutes to kind of unmake. This is the moonshine that I've had. Uh, I'm going to drink this now, so that's just going to go back into my stomach. All right, so you can see here the total cola flavoring agent of the 7X. We're going to unmix this so that it's not emulsified. Just if you stir with the back of the spoon like this, this will cause the emulsification to reverse and eventually it will come back together as you see here. And what you want to do is scoop that out. So now it's a matter of actually just unfiltering the natural ingredients that we use to make the flavoring. So just take the oil and put it back into the ingredients by either using anti-gravity or reverse pouring. And remember, this is what it did look like um, before. What we actually essentially want to do now is we want to remove the actual ingredients that we put into this oil, creating an anti-flavor. And to do that, what you need to do is just pull all of the ingredients that you put into the oil out and even pull the oil out because we don't need that anymore. So then you're going to want to unpound. Now this is a little bit confusing um, if you've never done this before, but it's actually very easy. All you need to do is just go backwards from the normal direction of pounding. And um, you're gonna wanna then ungather all of the ingredients that you have. So you might think that's the same as just putting it back, but actually all of this stuff needs to be unput. Now, I, that may be confusing, but, but to actually, the f you need to do, make sure that when you do this, you do it carefully, because if you don't exactly unput back the correct amount, you can cause a rip in the space-time continuum. That's why having a really good scale here is very important. So remember, we had all of these ingredients uh, that we put in, so you really need to make sure that you take them back out in the same exact order. If you don't, again, you can cause a rip in the space-time continuum, and that's, that's not really what we're going for here. Once you have unput back everything, uh, that's basically it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see a lot of negative views. Um, I definitely will be getting a lot of negative subscribers and comments. I can almost guarantee that from this video. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and thank you for helping me reach 100,000 subscribers. All right, with that, I'd like to say thank you and look forward to another video uh, last week. All right, bye.